Hello, everybody. I'm Kristen. And I'm Rachel. And this is So I'm Watching Shadow and Bone, Season 2, Episode 6, Knee Way Sesh. I have no heart. Got no hands either. <sighs> <laughs> well, we do at the end, but. Okay, but it makes him hotter. It does. It's way better than Leslie's hand. Yeah, <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, in yeah. Angel, yeah. It's way better than Lindsay's, like. Bar Barbie hand? Yeah. It's I'm like just... a mannequin hand. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna type. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, let's start with the visions. Okay. Okay. The crows are being poisoned in, um, the house. She said her name a couple times, but I forgot it every single time. Uh, Oval. Mm hmm Yeah. She was pretty dope. She was. Um, so they're being poisoned and they're all seeing visions. They are, it is like hallucinations. So the thing with Kaz's brother, it basically is like, what he's afraid of because his brother is like when your vengeance doesn't like fulfill you like what do you have left nothing um but then it was at the end his hallucination his hallucination <laughs> hallucination hallucination turned into Inej pulling him from the water as opposed to his brother drowning him i need them to kiss i know just get over it just get just stop it so stop it, everybody. Just do it. It's killing me. Yep. They didn't even end up kissing in Inez's yep. hallucination, which that was basically it. it, was like them being like tender with each other. And he was like taking all her knives and like, ugh, it's just, they have such good chemistry yes, too. They do. It's like electric. Um, And then Tolia was uh, hallucinating that he had killed Tamar. Uh, it's all kind of basic stuff. We did see what the necklace does in order to like track that they have to like track each other like a little flower. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Um, and Jesper's was the best because he was having a delightful little mind palace visit with his mother. So nice. Who had, I guess, sort of sacrificed herself to save a little girl mm -hmm. who was poisoned. Um, it was darling and I think it, he, like, really needed that. Oh, he absolutely did. <laughs> and he was also, it, it went into the kind of thing that Wyland was telling him, where it was like, why are you pushing this power away from yourself? It, you need to, to use it. And his mother in the vision said the same thing, where she was like, you stopped doing all of it. You were so promising and you stopped doing all of it. Um, and it was just because he was angry with well, her. Well, that is his dad. Did he say something about him? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, if he if he stopped using his magic, that no one would come and ask him to help save them. Right. Yeah. And then, God, that was really good, too, because she was like, you save your friends all the time. Mm -hmm. And he was like, but they didn't ask me to. Yeah. Which is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. So, meanwhile, Wylan is outside in the garden, totally vibing with some butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> he was, like, having such, like, time of his life mm -hmm. out there. But he was mad that he was like, I'm... So sad that there is no, no one, one to bear here. witness. And no one ever will, because the key to get going against this poison is eating the butterflies. Yeah. Whoa. Pretty cool, though. It was and, rainy. And honestly, in a lesser show, that might have made me call shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, how convenient that these butterflies just showed up in the exact amount you needed them right outside. But this show is just kind of like that. I kind of thought that um, Tolia sent them. Well, he was calling for Wylan, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. Maybe. Because the way that he was, like, settling in. Yeah. And then he just, like, kept calling for Wylan. And yeah. then all of a sudden, that's when the butterfly. So I was like, is he, like, yeah. sending his spirit out in a weird way? Maybe. So I don't know. Could be. He also, um, Wylan was able to, like, get a hole in the wall so he could talk to them. And so that's how he, like, gave them, like, passed them the butterflies. Um, yeah. Really... Cool and interesting. Yeah. And the vision that Jesper had of his mother did sort of force him to, like, come to terms with Wyland, where he was like, you know what? You were totally right, though. Not about the patronizing, but he was like, I'm not, like, pushing myself as far as I should, and you were right about that. It was sweet. It was. And then they made up and they kissed, and everybody just kind of looked at them <laughs> as yeah. they walked past. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, Bagra, Alina, and Mal are on the way to Morozova's uh, lair, I guess. That was pretty cool. Uh, oh, man. Mm -hmm. It's just cool, and yeah. it's just good. So, so they make it there. 
And in the meanwhile, Bagra is like telling this, these stories, and we come to find out that Moradzova was her father. Yep. And he and their mother was were scared of her, and that she had a little sister who was more beloved by the father specifically. And Bagra accidentally killed her with the cut because she broke a little swan figurine and the father brought her back to life. So she has like descendants, one of whom is Mal and he is the firebird. Here's my thing. They seem pretty convinced. Okay. Alina was so convinced earlier that she wouldn't have to kill the, the creatures, mm-hmm. the stag and the sea whip. And mm-hmm. she, she didn't kill the stag and they ended up sort of having to kill the sea whip. I don't know why she thinks she has to kill Mal when I feel like he could just chop off his finger and give it to her. <laughs> like, I don't know. I also, there are other ways to pass. Okay. They did bone at the end. It was nice. Rachel seems to think that he has magic seed that's going to like impregnate her. I don't want her to like <laughs> be impregnated, but it's like one way of passing something from yeah. one to another. I know. So clinical. That. <laughs> I mean, it seemed nice. Once he told her that like it was him, that he was the firebird and everything, she was like, I don't, well, she didn't believe him, but then she like touched him and her, her magic went all red. And well, he grabbed her, or her yeah. scaly arm. And so she did then accept it, and then they decided to sleep together anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, what else are you going to do? Nothing, absolutely not. Yeah, exactly. Um, speaking of people who should get laid, Zoya. Zoya. Yeah. Uh, girly. You, you're no fun. Not at all. Can we just, like, can Tol- Tolia take one for the team and just, like, really give it to her? Yeah. Because she's giving Nina so much crap about Matthias and, like, her well, slab of fur or whatever. He <laughs> is a slab of fur. Yes, he is. So she's giving her so much crap about that. And so when they see Jesper and Wyland kissing, she's like, ridiculous. Everyone's ridiculous. And it's like, that's like, yeah. what, what are you fighting for? Otherwise, that's what Nina asks. And she goes, Ravka. And I'm like, you're too patriotic for me. Yeah. The <laughs> love of country is not as. It does not like, take me that you far. You literally took nothing from Oval's speech. In front of her husband. <gasps> what a delight. I know. It's oh, like God. A, when, when... A, literal, a literal saint is like this human man <laughs> is my universe. <laughs> this cis hetero <laughs> shitlord. <laughs> yeah. No, that was like so beautiful. Yes, it she was. was like, he's my world and I'm his world. And when two worlds come together, that makes a universe. Yeah. And I was like, I know all of these like grand sweeping statements that all these, keep, all these people keep making. Yeah. Love it. Amazing. I want someone to say it to me. Totally amazing. Uh well, so Oval or um Saint, I don't remember what her Ooh, saint yeah. name was. But yeah. so she is the one that forged the sword. She mm-hmm. is she is the owner so, of the sword. Mm-hmm. It is fucking baller it is pretty as hell yeah it's like quartz yeah it is it made me want to turn my cell and i want into a sword and just sure. be like hi <laughs> i'm just gonna cleanse your aura with this <laughs> um she also i liked that she specifically made jesper go with her yes to get it because she was like you're you bad <laughs> you're bad at your job dude like what's going on here she was like you could have gotten me in so many different ways with the buttons on your coat with yeah. the zippers on your shoes or whatever yeah. and she was like you're too old to be this bad yeah and he was like no no you're right you're right i'm gonna try mm-hmm. and he thanked her weirdly for the poison and i'm because i was like i think that i know where this is going yeah. and i'm glad that i my instincts were right because he was like I know that it was intended as a poison, but I just really want to say thank you. It was so cute. Yeah. I really, really liked this episode. Me too. It was really good. I know. It's like, I enjoyed it so much, and yet I feel like I have nothing to talk about, because I was just so kind of, like, immersed in yeah. it. So. Yeah. <sighs> There's, okay, also, so did I say Bagra sacrificed herself? She she managed yeah. to, uh, Kerrigan came for Alina while she was looking through the, um, journals while Bagra was telling Mal that they're related. She was like, go look over there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay see that? Look at the flowers. Yeah. Um, and so she uh, basically was also 
able to enter the like their connection their connection somehow and she chopped his hand right off yeah it was fucking baller it was so cool and then she made alina run so they don't have their connection anymore mm-hmm. which is pretty great um i also just she's fantastic that was so, what a good character you know what I, yeah mm-hmm. what a good character and because well, she knows i love that she knows that she kind of like fucked up Mm-hmm. and so the whole time she's just like just shaming him to his face like yeah. you're fucking dumb you're dumb and a piece of shit and you're i bad, should have never done this. this and <laughs> she was like i loved you but it wasn't enough it wasn't enough yeah so sorry not sorry because she tried um she summoned the cut basically yeah. to try to kill kerrigan and so his shadow monsters handled it yeah because they held him back and then went after her and then he's like cradling her as she's dying. And she was like, no, no, it's fine. Like, and then, whoosh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. I just also, I love that kind of character because she's she's not feeling sorry for herself nope. at like any point. She's like, I made my bed. I'm lying in it. I'm not complaining. But you need to know all the information. Yep. And she's just fantastic. I know. She's like the only, one of the very few characters that's just like, here's all the information that you need to know. Yeah. But I think what's so interesting about it is that because she's doing it in such a direct and straightforward way, it doesn't feel like an exposition dump. No, it doesn't. It just is. It just feels like that's what that's she'll she would do. Yes, and it's also situation appropriate. Yeah, like you're not. You're right. She's not just kind of like info dumping yeah. at all times. It's just like I'm. You know. Oh no, you're the Firebird. Like when when I yeah. figured it out. No, oh, oh you're the fire. Got you. it. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Here's Very how you do good. it. Give give me your thumb. Give me your because the fact <laughs> that she was just like, just give, just, me, just give it. Yeah. And blessedly just the thumb. We didn't although, have to do one of these. Although we really did just kind of like run the length of a blade for just right here. Yeah. <laughs> like you could have just kind of gone like Yeah. Poke, poke. Yeah. Oh, the uh the old switcheroo that Kaz and Inej did at the end. Oh yeah. Because he was like, I actually did see something, and I realized there are those people who try to drown you and those who pull you out. And that was fantastic. And she was like, maybe I saw something, too. And it was that hope is a weakness. Okay, but, like, turning his own words on himself like that. Mm -hmm. And also, I think she doesn't believe there's any universe where he would actually allow a romantic attachment with her. Yeah. Even though I feel like, what if he's, like, um... What if he's like Ron Swanson after he has sex and he's just like <laughs> a feral monster? Just like totally like <laughs> finger guns and a red shirt, like afterwards. Getting rose. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. I just, yeah. Kaz and Zoya both just need to get laid and I think everything will be fine. Yeah. Just get it out. I do think that Matthias's cellmate did get buried. Yes, he buried him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that's mostly it. It was a good episode. Mm-hmm. It was a very good episode. Yeah. Oh, we did get a new uh, hot piece, Dominic. Oh, yeah. He was very hot. I liked his face. Maybe Zoya will get with Dominic. That'd be nice. Yeah. He's like Nikolai's best friend. I guess think he was his whipping boy. Like, as a child. That's what it sounded like. What do you mean? Paint the picture more for me. Like, I think that he got in trouble when Nikolai got in trouble. Oh. That's like a thing. Oh. Being whippy. So it was like if Nikolai got in trouble, Dominic would get whipped. I don't care for that. Yeah. Mm. They're care. still besties. Yeah. So. No harm, no foul. Yeah, I don't know. Not your fault, man. Well, it's not like it, like Nikolai didn't pick him. No, like I know the that. The king would have yeah, picked yeah, yeah. him. But, um, yeah. Good episode. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, really excited to keep watching. Me too. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're tired again. Yes. Thank you, Gratian, for hoping we got rest. We did. Yes, we And did. now we will be doing it again. Yes. All right. We'll be back with episode seven and eight on Monday. Woohoo! Bye! Bye! Bye.